Having trouble getting Tailwind and Storybook to play nicely together? I'll show you an absolutely guaranteed way to make sure that they integrate without too much hassle. It doesn't matter if you use React or Vue, WebKit or Vite, TypeScript or JavaScript, no matter what your stack is, this method will work. So let's dive in. As a programmer, integrations are one of the most frustrating things that we have to deal with on a daily basis. Instead of doing the work that I'm good at, I'm just making sure that this thing pipes into the other thing and coordinates with this other thing. It's really frustrating. So today I'm gonna to show you a way to connect Storybook and Tailwind in a way that isn't as much integration, but coordination. First things first, you need to have Tailwind installed. You can find instructions at tailwindcss.com slash docs. However, if you're watching this, you probably prefer video Video. So if you want to see a 60 second short on how to install Tailwind, you can see one right here. With Tailwind installed, open the Storybook Preview.js file. At the top, we'll import our new Tailwind CSS output file. Now this is the output file. So this will be found here and this has all of the CSS styles, unlike our input file, which just has the Tailwind directives. Next, open a terminal. With Storybook working in one, we'll add a new terminal and run our yarn tailwind command. This is set up in our package JSON to simply process the input file and spit it out in the source styles tailwind.css. With both scripts running, we can open up a component or story file and add tailwind classes. Let's open our story so we can see them update in real time. I'll add outline and outline pink 500. Okay, so we've got it all working. Tailwind and Storybook are both running, but running two processes in your development environment kind of sucks. To fix that, we'll add a package called concurrently. Go ahead and kill this Tailwind process and add the concurrently package. Open package JSON again. Before both Tailwind and Storybook, we wanna add a watch colon prefix. Now add a new Storybook command which will run concurrently, yarn colon watch colon star. This little part here means that anything with a watch colon prefix, which is these two scripts, will get run when we run Storybook. So let's test that out. Close this, kill Storybook, and run yarn Storybook again. Now with concurrently running both processes, we can run one command and have both scripts run concurrently. Close this package JSON, add some new classes to our class names, Tailwind compiles and our storybook page refreshes automatically. Now, something you'll need to make sure that you do is to update your build script to run the Tailwind process before running Storybook or else you'll be very confused as to why things don't look the way they should. Now, if you're willing to brave the Webpack waters, there are other options as well. Storybook user Jay has a really cool setup where they're using Post CSS to process all of this with their other Post CSS plugins. I put links to the Post CSS add-on documentation below. So that's it for me, but I'd love to learn more about how you're integrating your favorite styling libraries with Storybook. So let me know in the comments below. Now, if you're building Tailwind components for multiple themes, I think you might actually like this video that I made on creating custom toolbar items that you can use to switch themes inside of your Storybook. For a constant flow of tips and tricks just like this one, join the Storybook Discord, where over 16,000 designers and developers are sharing what they know every day. I'm Chantastic, I'll see you in the next one, bye.